Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Wednesday. It's May 30th, 2012. We're going to be looking at a few European charts. But before we get on to that, I want to look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. First thing I want to show you right here, we're going to be seeing um, some other charts out there as well. I've already updated the, all these charts. Remember, there's 18 that we keep uh, from going around the globe on our free website at perfectstockalert.com. You can check them out there whenever you'd like. So I'll touch on a few today, a few different ones tomorrow, and so forth and so on. But uh, if there's any particular chart that you're wondering, you know, what to think about this particular chart today, then uh, just check them out on the website. Even no, I may not cover it in the video. It's already been updated on the website. Uh, the main thing I want to be drawing attention to here is this particular little channel. We talked about this over the weekend. Some of those channels are moving sideways. This one was obviously drifting to the upside here. We told you with this move here was not sustainable because you had this bearish, uh, this bear setup divergence formation here, telling you that you were seeing a downtrend here, uptrend here. It was not sustainable. It was actually preparing to make a bigger move to the downside, which would actually take out this low here. So that's still coming. We haven't actually. Uh, got there yet. Uh, we did try to take a short position here, but you can see that we were stopped out by a couple of points before she rolled over and started moving lower again anyway. I would re-enter this position and I would do so for one particular reason. I know we have gapped down substantially today so we could see a little uh, gap fill you know, activity going on. That's possible. Um, but I, I'm looking at this channel right here and you can see that she's respecting that channel very well and now we've closed below that channel. And typically that's your signal that it's over. Uh, you may get a move back up here, a little short term move here and then reverse to the downside again. Uh, there's different ways it can play out. but because she's closed below the low channel here, the support line here, I believe that channel has uh, basically peaked, which means set a stop off of this high point here, which you can't see because I got it marked up so bad. Let me clean that up. All right, set a, your stop right off this high point right here, yesterday's high, which actually stopped us out earlier. And basically we're just saying get back in the short position and expect this to continue to move lower. Everything that's happening in this market is completely controlled by what's going on over there in Europe. So that's the main catalyst there. So let's go look at some European charts. The French CAC 40 index, this one has also broken the lower support line that you saw we were trading on right here. And she's actually broke the downside, closing below that. So now I want to get short a stop off the previous high. We'll advance the stop as she goes lower. We expect this low to be taken out. Uh, didn't actually get as overextended as you saw with the Dow Jones Industrial Average a moment ago. As you can see, the ultimate oscillator got up to about 60 before she rolled over. That's actually kind of normal in a um, bearish market. Uh, but you will notice that this high point here versus this high point here, you can see that you are actually trending up ever so slightly there. The corresponding time frames, you were seeing the move to the uh, upside here and then a, another move here and you can see that the closes were actually ever so slightly down or not quite the same so basically what you're seeing again is that you're you're not being able to break out to the upside in price activity that the ultimate oscillator was signaling otherwise this tells you that this move to the upside is not sustainable it's going to fall apart same thing we've been seeing on all these other charts and she's now breaking down to the downside so short it the Milan markets, Italy's market, the MIB, you can see that we were basically, like we talked about last weekend, just moving sideways right here, the little uh, basic little wedge formation there. And we've now closed down below that. So you can actually, if we see more selling tomorrow, a lower low taking out this low point here, then I would start selling that, shorting that with the stop off of today's high, one cent above today's high. That would be how I would trade that. Uh, pretty easy little trade there, not a lot of risk. German DAX composite, same overall story, breaking to the downside. Here was a little channel that we had moving to the upside here. We talked about this last week on Friday's video. And we've closed below that. You can see that we had this low point here, and bounced off of that 200-day moving average, basically. Uh, bounced off of that, come up here uh, to 6446, then sell off again, and then find some support. Jump up here at 6441, and we do not break up to a new high, and we start to go lower. Not lower as far as the low points, but from the close perspective. So this, again, showing the break, the close lower, failure to break out to new highs, all these things tell us the downtrend remains unarguably uh, in a strong move lower. So you want to be looking for opportunities to get short there. Even if you pass on this situation, which you could short now with stop set off this high point right here, you could start selling at this point. Even if you pass on that and you say, no, I don't want to start shorting now or something of that nature, you may get another move to the upside and we may keep moving sideways. That's all possible. What you want to be watching are those trend lines, especially the low points, the ultimate low. If that low gets taken out, then it's a free fall. You want to jump on board and follow that as low as she will let you go. Let's have a moment to take a look at the Hong Kong Hang Sing Index. We'll also look at the BSE in a moment. 
Uh, you can see right here that we're just in this channel. This is where our stops at. This is the high point of that channel as well. And this is our low point, and we're just moving sideways right in here. We came up a little bit to fill some of this gap that we had over here, and then we just gap back down and selling off again today. We're just moving sideways here. That's why what I'm talking about taking out that ultimate low. If you close below that point, you have broken that major support. You have broken that channel. You want to be jumping on the short bandwagon at that time. Uh, another thing you can see here, again, you can notice you've got this high point here and then a lower high here. If you're trending up, same time period, you've got a high point here uh, and it closes. And then a, another one here, you can see that we are just flat to slightly lower. So again, this is bearish telling you you do not want to be a buyer of this particular uh, rally. It's false. It's going to fall apart. So look for it to happen. Look for an opportunity to get short. The BSE or the India Bombay Stock Exchange, I have marked it as being something that I would sell at this point in time or lower within this range right here simply because we had yesterday's shooting star formation there. We get confirmation today with lower series of highs and lower series of lows. And that's what I look for. I look for an opportunity to get short even though we have yet to actually break this channel here. So that's another thing to note. If you're not, if you don't like this signal, if you think it's going to be another fake out like we saw back here where you had the shooting star formation confirmation the next day and then she just shook it off and keep moving higher and does it again. It, that's possible. You could see that again. Uh, it's rare, but you, you, you could see it happen again and again. Uh, so another way to do that would be wait for the uh, lower point here to be taken out. This support line, when you get a close down here below that line, and then you can get short at that point. Uh, that's just another way to trade it. So, you know, however you want to do it, you can uh, do it. But in any shape, or any chart you're looking at right now, I would not be looking for an opportunity to buy these markets. The London Financial Times Index or the FTSE. This one, of course, I would be taking a short position at this point here. We saw the bearish engulfing form here. We took that one with a stop right here. Then we got a couple of days where it just shook it off and we got a shooting star formation. I didn't jump on that just yet. We were already short, even though we've been stopped out because I wanted to see confirmation. The next day did not confirm. It just sort of moved to the upside a little bit, but did not break out to the upside. So we still wait for confirmation. Today is that confirmation. I'd be selling it with a stop right here. And this is my range. Anything within here, I'd be shorting. We're looking for this low to be taken out. The SPX, the S&P 500 large cap index, which represents the majority of stocks traded here in the U.S., is actually closed below the low support line. And that's a key element there. Even though we don't have a shooting star formation on this day, um, we have actually gapped down and sold off. We have closed below that point there. Therefore, I want to short it with a stop set off of yesterday's high, one cent above that tight stop looking for this low to be taken out as we continue to move lower with the global markets as more news out of Europe comes to be poor and we all go spiraling lower yay hang on the VIX which runs the inverse of the S&P 500 confirms everything seen on the S&P 500 with a breakout move to the upside in play at this point we can see we are in of course an uptrend here high points are higher and low points are higher everything confirmed by the ultimate oscillator so we have no question on regarding this uh, uptrend being true or not and that uptrend would of course flipped or be inverse to the S&P which would confirm a downtrend in the S&P so forth and so on I would expect a test of this high with this move right now because of the big gap here I wouldn't be quick to jump on uh, or advance my stop here uh, to this low point here typically I'll do that but not now because of this major gap here we could see a little bit of a gap fill before attempting to move a little bit higher so I'd leave that possibility open leave my stop where it is for now but we're looking for this to keep moving higher ergo the US markets because of the global markets will all keep moving lower just a matter of time if you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free and all we ask in return, uh, refer a friend. God bless. Take care. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.